If you want a free golden ticket player, keep on watching this video. Now, like I said in the intro, I'm going to be sharing what you guys got to be doing today to get not one, but two golden ticket cards absolutely free. So let's get started. Step number one, what you guys got to be doing is you got to come over to your marketplace, go on over to your unopened packs, and you should see this pack right here, your fan appreciation welcome pack. Now, simply open this pack up. It's going to give you a pair of 94 overall players. If you're having difficulty seeing this pack appear on your account, you can try and reach out to EA Help because everyone by now should have this pack on your account. You're going to be getting 294 overall players, Tom Brady and Ed Two Tall Jones, as well as a Mutt Tip. Now, these two cards right here are absolutely critical foundational building blocks in our pursuit of a free golden ticket. You guys want to make sure you're not quick selling these players or adding them to sets because these cards right here, they are going to turn into free GTs. Okay, that was step number one. I don't think it gets much easier than that. For step number two, what you guys are going to do is you're going to go to your challenges and you're going to go on over to the new fan appreciation solos. Now, these challenges are going to be all the way at the top of your solo challenges list and they just dropped in Madden 22 today. Now, the way these solos work is every week for the next three weeks, there's going to be new solo challenges that are going to come in the fan appreciation section. And as you guys can see right here, when they drop new solos, that's going to allow you guys to progress further along the milestone tiers. Now, at tier number one, uh, you're getting a week one token. And then again, at tier number three, you're also going to be getting a week one token. Now, what these tokens are going to do is they're going to go into your Tom Brady and they're going to go into your Ed Two Tall Jones to start to upgrade those players. Now, to get all the way from tier one to tier three, all you guys got to do is play through your solo challenge that just dropped into the game today. There's 15 solos in here. Some of them are three star, four star, and five star solos. As you guys can see, I've taken my shot at some of the solos. They're all relatively easy. I'll probably play through the rest of these in maybe like 10 to 15 minutes after I finish recording this video. These should be really, really quick. And as you guys can see, when you play through every solo, that is going to be 60 stars. So in week number one, you have the potential to get up to 60 stars and get two week one tokens. Then at tier number four and tier number six, you're going to be getting some week number two tokens. Now, the way these week two tokens work is essentially you're going to put them into the Tom Brady or the Ed Two Tall Jones, and you're going to continue to upgrade the players. And as you guys can see, these tokens are going to be following the exact same process as the week one tokens. You're going to need to get up to 80 stars, which is going to be 20 past your 60 that you originally got in week number one. And then again, you're going to need to get up to 120. So the same process, that's 60 more stars in week number two. Then rinse and repeat, the exact same thing is going to be happening in week number three. For week number three, you can get up to tier seven and tier nine. That's going to be two more tokens. So that was step two. Simply stay up to date with your solo challenges. It's going to be pretty easy easy. I don't know if these solos expire after a week. I'm not sure if there's any messaging in game that says that once the first week of fan appreciation is done, that those solos are going to be expired and they're going to go away. I'm not sure if those are going to go away and get replaced with week two or if both sequences will be available. So honestly, just to stay on top of things and make sure that, that doesn't happen to you, I would just get on that and play through these challenges right now. You're going to want to play through all them and you're going to want to play them on full star difficulty because if you're looking to max out your tokens and get all the way up to tier number nine, you're going to have to play through every single solo in here on full star difficulty. Now, now, step number four is to scroll down and drop a like on the video. I'm sorry, that was cheeky, but if you want to scroll down and drop a like, I'd greatly appreciate it. Helps out the channel a ton. And a big shout out to the boys over at Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring this video. They're an absolutely incredible sponsor of the channel that allows you guys to make picks like you see on the screen right here. Essentially, what you do is you pick the over or the under for player props. And if you guys want to sign up with the app and use code SWIFT, you're going to be getting a deposit bonus up to 100 bucks. Okay, now let's get into the real step number four, which is going to be upgrading your cards right here. There's a couple of finicky things that I kind of heard based on how you guys can upgrade these players. Okay, so very simply, what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna select the first golden ticket you're looking to get. Let's say that's Ed Two Tall Jones. You can actually get both of these cards for free, uh, but let's say it's Ed Two Tall. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're simply gonna be putting in 50 in training. If you don't have 50 in training, I apologize, and I guess maybe I shouldn't have put free in the title because uh, it will cost you 50 in training to get this golden ticket. But once you guys are past that super, super expensive hurdle that I know might prevent some of you guys from getting the free GT, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here and you're gonna put in the weak one collectible into your Ed Two Tall Jones card. Now, the way this works right here is you can't go ahead and put in two week one collectibles to get Ed Two Tall Jones up to the max as soon as possible. Essentially, the way it works is to get the free golden ticket, you got to put in a week one collectible, then a week two collectible, then a week three collectible. So sadly, you can't go in here and play through all the week number one to get two week one tokens and upgrade Ed Two Tall Jones to a 98. Sadly, it does not work like that. Instead, uh, you kind of got to go sequentially. So as you upgrade one player, you'll be upgrading the other card as well to essentially give you a both golden tickets after three weeks. So if you come in here and you play through all your solos and you're wondering why you can't get Ed Two Troll Jones up to the maximum, the reason why is because each card is going to require a week one, a week two, and a week three collectible. So once you guys put your collectible into Ed, uh, you can do the exact same thing for Brady. For the 100% cheapest Madden 22 coins and 2 KMT, check out my sponsor MMOEXP by clicking the link at the top of the description and use code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. And then of course, as you guys can see right here, once you get your week one collectible in, your week two collectible, you're going to be getting the 
week three collectible, and that is going to be a golden ticket, a Tom Brady player item, and a golden ticket, a two tall Jones on the screen right here. I'll show you guys the stats for these players. They're kind of cracked. A two tall Jones is a wild corner. The man is, I want to say, 6'9", so he's a little bit shorter than me, but he's still pretty tall, just a bit shorter than me, a couple inches shorter uh, than how tall I am, 271, so around the same weight as me as well. A two tall Jones right here, he is going to be absolutely crazy. I'm actually curious if I can put the golden ticket card art on him quite yet. It doesn't look like I'm able to, uh, but either way, this card is really, really sick. And after one week, he's a 96. After two weeks, he's a 98. The card's going to be fire. Now, taking a deeper dive into the Ed Two Tall Jones stats, as you guys can see on the screen right here, this is what the card is rocking with. He's got 98 speed, 98 excel. Uh, kind of unfortunate that he's not up to a 99, but either way, a single strategy card, and he is going to be up to 99 speed. The man, the zone, the press, the play rec, it's all really good. A uh, play record man, I guess you could hope for a little bit higher, but overall, this card is pretty fire. And then a kind of interesting aspect about the player, which is more notable for Tom Brady, and we'll get into that in just a second, but on the Ed Two Tall Jones card, like most golden tickets, he's going to have different archetype buckets. So his ability slot number one and two are going to be zone quarterback. His ability slot number three is going to be run stopping outside linebacker. So kind of interesting right there. And then his fourth ability slot is the speed rushing outside linebacker. So if you're looking to put abilities on this card and you're trying to get them for the cheap, you could honestly potentially take advantage of that by using some of those specific archetypes. And then finally, the last couple of stats that aren't pictured on that card right there are going to be 98 hit power, 90 catching, 88 spec catch, 84 CIT. So honestly, a really statted card, 99 COD as well. This card's crazy, 96 block shed. Like the more stats I throw at you guys, the better the card looks. Then next up, we got Thomas Patrick Edward Brady, who is going to be, of course, a gold 99 golden ticket, 95 speed, a 99 throw power. So the speed and the throw power are crazy. He's also going to have great accuracies. Of course, Tom Brady, a uh, very, very accurate. Accurate, but let's take a look at what's probably the most important aspect of the card, uh, which is going to be the ability buckets right here. Now, on this card, ability slot number one is scrambler. Ability slot number two is going to be scrambler as well. So, on this card, you can get escape artists for the cheapest AP possible. Then, ability slot number three is field general. If you want to go with hot route master, that's going to give it to you for cheap. And then, finally, in ability slot number four, it is going to be strong arm. So, if you're looking to go with gunslinger, uh, you can get that for the cheapest AP possible. This card is really, really overpowered. The only thing about him is he doesn't have an amazing release. He's still got a good release, uh, but it's not amazing. It's not like one of the best ones in this game, but overall, Tom Brady looks like a pretty statted card. I think both are great. I think the abilities on both cards are awesome, and I'm liking what EA Sports did with it. So yeah, let's see if we can get Glitchy to end this video off. Ever since I pulled that 97 overall card out of my Pro Fantasy Max, EA Sports has not been nice to me. We got a flashback right here. Uh, someone good. It's an 87 Mink of Fitzpatrick. That was like the first flashback that ever came out in Madden 22, so that is not a good pull right there. I'm probably going to quick sell the man and quick sell the pack. So yeah, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. And until next time, fellas, I'm out. Have a wonderful day. Peace.